we'll start with this word here error and we'll do what the definition then we are going to look at how errors occur in an organization or in the financial statement and we are also going to introduce maybe different types of errors that you have covered previously different types of errors we'll also be looking on what we refer to as uh, the word fraud and we are going to look into definition and then we are looking on the types of frauds from there we'll be looking on maybe specific types of frauds specific types of frauds and uh, lastly we'll be looking on uh, prevention and detection responsibilities prevention and detection of errors and frauds. There is also a part that is very, very important in these particular errors and frauds, and that is when you're investigating errors for the purposes of uh, presenting the evidence in court, we call that fraud deterrence and detection. And this one is going to be covered in a forensic audit, which is going to be maybe following this particular topic here. So this is a very simple area. It's not that difficult. Unless maybe perhaps you'll find it difficult after we clear, but I'm going to make it simpler for you. So let's start with that word error. When you read the dictionary, you'll find that the word error is used to mean a mistake. A mistake. But when you come to financial statement, we say errors are financial statement mistakes. So it's just the same, same thing. We say this is a financial statement mistake, or you can say is a financial statement misrepresentation. Misrepresentation. Or you can say it is a financial statement misstatement. Misstatement. But because we are going to be differentiating between errors and frauds later on, we have to use the word intention and not intentional. So we say an error is a mistake or a misrepresentation or a misstatement that is not intentional in the financial statement. In the financial statement. Another way of defining this one is saying it means an intentional, an intentional misstatement, misstatement in the financial statement, including omissions of amounts and figures including omission of amounts and figures. That is how we define that particular term, an error. So errors are mistakes in the financial statement. When you're preparing the financial statement, you may encounter an error, maybe either because you don't understand things or maybe because it's an area that is new for you. But that is now what we refer to as how the errors are committed in an organization. Errors are committed by people who lack proper knowledge. Lack of proper knowledge and also what? And skills. So if you are new in a particular place, for example, you have come to this particular financial work for the first time, there are high chances you're going to form a wrong opinion because you don't have that particular what? Knowledge. Number two that makes errors be committed is lack of training. Lack of training. If you come across a new person in an organization, he's supposed to be trained at all costs so that he can be able to minimize those particular errors in an organization. But if he's not going to be trained, what else do you expect? We expect so many errors because he's going to be using trial and error. Number three, Overworking a staff. Overworking of staff. Accounting staff. So when you're overworked and you feel tired and exhausted, there are so many things you may overlook. And those are going to introduce errors in the financial statement. Number four, over delegation. 
of uh, the location of staff. A senior person delegate the work to a junior, a junior delegate to a more junior staff, another junior delegate to a more junior staff. We are going to delegate work that will have been done by senior people being done by clerks. At the end of the day, what do we expect? They are going to have committed so many errors in that particular organization, financial statements. In other cases, we say errors are also committed by those people who are given wrong jobs in an organization. Five, wrong jobs or wrong assignments. Wrong assignments. Figure it this way. Someone who perhaps is in human resource is being told to prepare a trial balance. What do you expect? You're going to find so many errors in the, in the organization. So that is how errors will emerge in the financial statement. The authoritative standard that is guiding us here is ISA 240 revised. If you can find that one, you can find these particular wordings. Or maybe these particular are provisions of the errors. But something that you need to know, errors occurs in various stages of an audit. Or maybe accounting. The stages of... Accounting may include one, when we are posting transactions in an organization. Posting of transactions. There we can have errors occurring. We can also have errors during what? Double entry. Double entry. Or we can have errors when we are recording facts. Recording facts in the financial statement. Or when we are generating financial statement of the company, we can have errors. So errors occur in various stages, including posting of transaction, during double entry, during recording, classification of transactions, that can maybe have an effect on the errors of the organization. So having mentioned that one, before I tell you about different types of errors, it is good we look on the errors that you had covered previously, perhaps in an earlier class. If you had done what we refer to as financial reporting or financial accounting, those, there is some errors that you cover there, and you define the same same error in this particular definition. But do you remember this? Errors affecting trial balances. Affecting trial balances. And errors that do not affect trial balances. Do not affect trial balances. An error affecting trial balance. Remember errors of omit omission. When a transaction is completely omitted in the financial statement, is not included. Errors of commission. When a wrong transaction is recorded in the ledgers or in the financial statement. When an item is ignored, when an item is included where it's not supposed to be. That's the difference between the two. The error of principle. When we do not follow rules and regulations governing the accounting entry, for example, you record purchases of goods and services maybe in the motor vehicle purchases, that is going to be affecting, or maybe in, in a capital expenditure, that is going to be affecting what? To be affecting the financial statements. There is also compensating errors. Compensating errors. You record one item as 50 in a wrong account by debiting, and then you go to another account, you debit, and you credit another 50, but maybe from a different area. At the end of the day, they are going to compensate each other, and you may not be able to know whether they are going to affect the trial balances or they may not affect the trial balances. Then there is what we call the, the transposition error. Transposition error. And there is what we refer to as overcasting and undercasting. And we have what we refer to as misinterpretation. Misinterpretation of facts. Misinterpretation of facts. All we, these are all the errors. Transposition will be if you are supposed to record something like 9 or 5, but you record it as 5 or 9. That is transposition error. If you record a figure as 500 instead of, of maybe 50, then you are recording, you are overstating that figure. If you are supposed to record a figure as 5,000, but you record it as 500, you are undercasting that figure. Undercast, long figure, which is maybe under the figure that you are supposed, or maybe lower than the figure that you are supposed to record. 